Falls account for 40% of construction fatalities. On average, there is one death per day. Fall protection is the number one cited violation by OSHA agents. Inspect your harness every single time. This can save your life. The front side of the harness contains chest strap, torso adjusters, and leg straps. Chest strap. The chest strap should be located at the sternum. Too high could lead to a throat impact. Too low and you may not stay in the harness. Use the keepers to capture excess webbing. Torso adjuster. The torso adjuster should be adjusted to a slightly snug feel. Remember to slide the bottom plastic keepers against the adjusters to maintain proper harness alignment. Leg straps. The leg strap should be worn snug. Check the fit by sliding your hand through the strap against your leg. Make a fist. If you can slide your fist under the webbing, the strap may be too loose. Back side of the harness consists of D-ring, horizontal back strap, impact indicators, and sub-pelvic strap. D-ring. The proper location is between the shoulder blades. Always air slightly high and location never low. If the D-ring is too low, the body will tend to fall forward and direct the impact in the groin and chest area. Horizontal back strap. The intent of the horizontal back strap is to prevent the vertical back straps from separating. The horizontal strap will prevent the worker from falling out of the back of the harness should an accident occur. Impact indicators. These indicate when a harness has been in a fall. When deployed, the webbing will unfold, revealing rip stitching. It is vital you check these during the inspection process. Subpelvic strap. The subpelvic strap should be located under the buttocks, connecting to both of the leg straps. In the event of a fall, most of the load will be taken by this strap. Adjust the leg straps to make sure the subpelvic strap stays in the proper location. For a complimentary walk-it-down inspection and training, contact us today.